Bert Higgins is a Premier League veteran. He knows that taking his time and giving full consideration to what could be the crunch ball of the frame is well worth it. Well, playing the plant, it has to be made, this distance between them. Ooh. John Higgins, 24. Oh, John, a little unlucky not to land on a red when he went into them there. One. Fifteen. He might say that he respects all opponents, Ronnie O'Sullivan, but when you're so naturally talented, when he's coming up against journeymen, maybe that is just what he says. But he genuinely respects John Higgins. They've always gone very well together. Like yes, but at the moment, this man is the business. Well, his display against Hendry at the Crucible was just sustained brilliance for frame after frame 28 he didn't play so well in the final that was a little anticlimactic against Ali 29. Carter but he did what he had to do 35 36 Not able to 42. zone in on the black yet. 43. Might not have to. 49. Not quite pinpoint. Okay, but a little work to do. 50. Work done. Fifty five. Fifty six. And that's one of the great benefits of a quick table, Mike, being able to bump the cue ball up like that for the pink. Yeah, you made a better angle that, that there was on from that red. He's already done that slam, Leaf now then. Will he take the right to the left or the right corner? I think the left corner. 62. Oh, he's played the safety. That surprised me. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 62. Evidence there of the snooker brain of Ronnie O'Sullivan. 62. Fine shot. Well, he still needed one red hit to make this opening frame safe, and uh, I think this this is on. It's not a bad result. He'll take it on this time. This is frame ball. You just think every time he gets down, one's going to go in. And invariably it does. One. I don't know what the odds would be for him to win every tournament this year. If he put his mind to it. Well, that would be the grandest of grand slams. Escape. But 
39 behind with only 35 on the table. John Higgins knows what it takes to make a flying start to a season. He did so in 2001-2002 campaign when the Champions Cup and the Regal Scottish Masters and the British Open, the first three tournaments of that season. Good shot. just overdone that slightly uh, the question is will Ronnie take on the red I don't think so from there I think it'll be a safety huh. just as I said that he attempted the red John requires a high value he could get on the pink he'd like to get on the black of course but pink would be okay in fact he does need the black to tie of course 39 the difference that's why he refused the pot there and he's laid oh, good snooker he's got the snooker but Ronnie can swerve around the green striking right hand side you see the side take effect there oh that's the last thing he wanted oh, well now then there's a decision to be made red and black and lay a snook on one of the book colors I think he pots it while he's got the chance fine well, he's got to force this in to get close to the yellow must make sure the black Difficult. It was difficult to get the cue ball at that end of the table. Eight. John Higgins, well, though, eight. Yellow has come away from that pocket a little, but I expect Ronnie to take this on and knock it in. Hmm. Still one snooker required. That's a cracking shot. Had the chance to put the wise in behind the pink. That really is a great shot because he's given Ronnie limited choice here to get at the snooker. Yes, and if O'Sullivan doesn't escape and gives four penalty points away, Higgins, by clearing the colours, can force a respotted black. Foul. John Higgins, four. Well, now then, 27 the difference, 27 on, the yellow goes. This frame, this first frame, is not over yet. Ooh. Could be a respotted black. I don't think John will go for the snooker here. I think he'll clear the colours and play for the respot. Five. Nine. Well, he had to go 14. around the angles, but uh, it's a good shot. <laughs> well, this is great stuff here from John Higgins. 20. He really laid a, a fantastic snooker behind the pink to give himself any chance at all in this opening frame. This for the respot, then. 27 John Higgins. The regulation amount of balls, not enough to separate these two players, and so it's down to an extra ball. Oh, Sullivan, if he loses this, we'll feel it's one that's very much got away. Ronnie won the toss.
It's all about pace. He's got the white to the back cushion. That's pretty good. <laughs> if it's probably six inches off the cushion, John might have contemplated the pot, but uh, good shot there for Money. Just a safety coming up. Well, we had a cracking first match, um, Phil, and we got a cracking start to the second. Yes, and if you're working on momentum and the fact that Higgins was out of the frame for all intents and purposes, for me, he's the favourite to win this black ball dogfight. Well played. He's gone to put the black on the side cushion, but it's going towards that middle. It needs to travel. It's okay. No, just to the top cushion. Well, that's not as good as he wanted. This black is on. This is cuttable. John has already been around the table to have a look at this. He's definitely having a go at this black to the right corner. Uh, great comeback in this opener. Can he finish it? Too thick. Again, it's not bad. No sensible white as you might expect. And that's how we started this respotted black. Yes, black to the top cushion, white down the table. Similar shot that Ronnie played a few minutes ago. But. Um, John's, we could say, he's got the control again here, especially with that shot. He's got control of the table. This is tough. This is tricky. Double kiss. It's gone towards the corner. It's not going in, is it? It's not going in. It is now. Unmissable, if there is such a thing. The world champion has fallen victim to a great escape from John Higgins. He needed a snooker, he got it, and he's won the first frame. Yes, I think the first frame, in many respects, was a big one. Higgins got no right to win it, and he did on a respotted black after requiring a snooker. And considering that, I think two all for O'Sullivan is an acceptable situation. Oh, well. Wow. He played the thin pot there, cut the red in, missed it completely. Made a right hash of that one. Oh, Ronnie's got the perfect angle wow. here. That's the one that Higgins missed completely. And it could have significant ramifications. Six. Seven. That could be the awkward one, but it is four or five inches off the cushion there, so... If he gets in behind it, shouldn't be a problem. That wasn't clean. 14. Well played. Uh, so this frame is all about this red now. Off the side cushion. Top and right hand side. The cue ball needs to bounce. Ooh, it's, it's one of those. Just happy to see that one going. Well, again, another player, 2 0 ahead this evening, looking like going 3 2 behind. Yes, although that one was well favoured. 28. And what a clearance this would be. Produced a couple of them. 
31. Miraculous they were in his final win over Dave Harold at the Northern Ireland Trophy with reds all over the cushions and somehow cleared the table. 35. This is up there. 40. Just make sure. Oh, well played. From 2 0 down, taking a leaf out of the Mark Selby book. Ronnie O'Sullivan, defending champion and world champion, leads John Higgins 3 2.